Yo guys, what is going on? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to get skins in CSGO, some of the easiest ways to get skins in CSGO, and also go over how the CSGO community market works with the game and the skins that are on it. Now, this is basically gonna be like the third video in my how to play CSGO tutorial series, and if you're coming from that, welcome back. But if you haven't seen that and you're interested, I'll have it linked down in the description below. Now, real fast, I do just wanna say only about 2.5% of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed. And as you guys can see, the not subscribed portion of people who watch my videos is really, really really big so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you guys smash that subscribe button but uh, other than that let's get right into the video so taking a look here at my inventory you guys will see that i have a collection of some pretty decent skins but a lot of just basic skins filler skins as i call them for all the guns in the game whether i'm using them or not you guys can actually see that the, all the red skins all the most expensive skins are skins for the main weapons i use all the time but basically i bought most of these off of the csgo community market and i'm going to show you guys how you can do this so to get to the CSGO community market, all you have to do is open up Steam, come up to the top left hand corner and hover over community and then click market. This is going to open up the CSGO community market that is on Steam. And as you guys can see here, I have a bunch of random graffitis listed for sale. Most likely you guys will not have anything that looks like this, but if you scroll down, this is what you're going to see. And as you guys may notice on the right here, it shows a list of all the games on Steam that actually have the ability to use the Steam community market. Now, most of the items here that are automatically showing up first are from CSGO because CSGO is the number one user of it. But if you guys want to sort out the items to only CSGO, which I would highly recommend, come over here and click Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is going to filter out all the other items and only show you guys CSGO items. Now, from here, you're going to notice that a lot of cases and some weapon skins will show up on the first two pages. These are basically like trending items on a CSGO community market because it's just going to take a super long time to go through all the skins and find one that you like. But if you have a specific weapon you're looking for a skin, all you have to do is come up here to the show advanced options. You don't have to worry about typing anything in in the search bar. Just click show advanced options. It's going to open up this window. And from here, if you've never used this before, it might look a little confusing, but it's basically going to allow you to pick exactly what you want to look for. Now, for most of these, you do not have to worry about choosing anything. But what you want to look at right here, first of all, again, if we're looking for an AK-47, click the weapon drop down and click AK-47. It shows up right at the top. Now from here, you can choose a lot of different things. You can choose the wear of it. You can choose whether it's stat track or not. These are basically the main two categories you do have to worry about. So all you got to do here is click what you want. Now, if you're not sure what all of these wares mean, I'll have a video linked in a card up above and down in the description so you guys can check out exactly how the wares work. But if you know what you're doing, go ahead and click what you want. For today, for example, I'm just going to use factory new and stat track. Some of the most expensive items are going to show up, but I mean, why not? It's just for a video example. Again, if you scroll down, there are a lot more options, but you really don't have to worry about these very much. A lot of them are actually just repeated. But once you're done selecting what weapon you want, the exterior and the category, go ahead and click search. Now, keep in mind, we selected factory new stat track AK and as you guys can see here there's a lot of random ones showing up not necessarily sorted in any order what you can do here if you would like to see the cheapest one or even the most expensive you can come up here and click price and it's first going to filter it by cheapest and then if you click it again it's going to also filter it from most expensive down i recommend filtering it from most cheapest to most expensive it's probably the best bet for some of you guys who aren't looking to spend hundreds of dollars but as you guys can see here the cheapest ak-47 factory you know that stat track would be the uncharted skin and this is going for six dollars and 26 cents at the time i'm making this video it's basically as easy as that to find the skins that you want and exactly how you want them again just to make it clear when you do go to advanced search options every single weapon in csgo is going to be on this drop down this is all the weapons in the game you can find any skin you want here for every single weapon in CSGO. You are not limited to any weapons. You can pick whatever you want. The only time you will be limited is if that skin is not listed or not available at the time you're trying to buy it. But most of the time, every single cheap skin mainly is gonna always be available. Now, I do need to point out, before you guys do buy any skins, you will have to add balance into your Steam wallet. If you guys look up here, you'll see my wallet balance, which is $10.80 in USD. Basically, I have this just sitting in here from random items I've been buying and selling and making little minor bits of profit on. But basically, you have to have balance in your wallet before you can purchase any of these items on Steam. And how you're going to add it, if you do not have any, is you're going to come up here, click on your name, and come down here to view my wallet. Once you click on view my wallet, it's basically going to tell you exactly how you can add funds. While you cannot pick a specific number, they have selected amounts you can add. So 5, 10, 25, 50, and 100. I believe the max you can do daily is going to be a couple hundred. I don't know what that is exactly. But for most of you, including myself, I would normally just add 5 or $10 at a time. If you also have a Steam gift card, you can also withdraw that here. Super easy, super simple. And as you guys can see up above, if you're watching this video while the summer sale is going on, you 
you can also see that they have some discounts advertised up here. But basically, once you add funds to your wallet, all you have to do is click on the weapon that you want. It's going to load in the page. You can inspect it in game if you want. You can also see the graph of how the item's price is going along if you're looking to make an investment. And then if you scroll down all the way towards the bottom, you can see the cheapest listing right here for $6.26 and click buy now. Now, some people might be looking for specific pattern weapons or specific floats. And if you are looking for those, you can inspect each one of these items individually and it will show you the pattern and float number in game. So if you are one of those people looking for a specific pattern or float, that would be how you do it. Now, just to note, the cheapest listing is never going to be the best listing. Sometimes it may, sometimes it might not be. A lot of the times these cheap listings are just people selling their items randomly without even knowing whether it's a good float or not. But if you're just looking for the cheapest one, go ahead and click buy now. You're going to have to put in some of your information if you have never bought anything already. And once you do, go ahead and come down here, click this little check mark saying you agree to the terms and click purchase. And it's as easy as that. Once you do that, the item will automatically show up in your CSGO inventory in game and you'll be able to use it right away. Now, I do need to mention too, if you are looking to buy CSGO cases and keys, the best way to do it is actually to come back into CSGO, click on the home screen and come down here to where it says market. If you click this, you're going to see that all the CSGO cases, or a large majority of them at least, show up here. Now, if you click on them, it's going to take you immediately to the CSGO community market where you can actually buy this item. But in order to buy keys for these items, you do have to have the case already in your inventory. Unfortunately, you can no longer purchase keys off the CSGO community market still that are actually priced reasonably. You would basically have to go into your inventory, hover over the cases you want to unbox, click it, and click unlock container. From there, at the very bottom of the screen, you guys can see you can buy the keys priced all at $2.49 each, and you can buy up to 20 of them at one time. This is the only way you can buy keys, and I did want to note this because there are some keys still listed on the CSGO community market that are very, very overpriced. Do not buy those keys. You want to buy the keys for the cases here. Now, there are other third-party sites you guys can buy CSGO skins from, and I have videos about them, which I will link down in the description if any of you guys are interested. But for the cheap items, I highly advise using the CSGO community market because because you do not have to encounter any trade bans, any scams. It's completely safe and run by Steam. So again, it's probably the best method to buy skins from, especially the safest. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below. I hope I was able to help some of you guys out. But if you do have any further questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or hit me up on Discord. My server is linked down in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.